So I'm going to try to get through this video without crying. Been doing that all day. Anyway. But um, when I was younger, right, I used to have this recurring dream that when I got older, I'm like, you know, I don't, I'm going to be... I'm going to be something, right? I'm going to be something great. And I'm going to be able to, like, take care of my whole family. Not every single family member, like, but the majority of my close family. And it was always in this, I would have this dream where I would be having a picnic in this big house with this backyard. And the details of the house really didn't matter, but I remember I was in this backyard and just I'm laughing with my family and stuff like that I had in the dream I had done stuff for people like I bought this person a house did that did that you know just all this stuff but yeah um I would have that dream over and over and I'm like oh I can't wait till I get older because I'm gonna be rich <clears throat> and I'm going to have a family, and I'm going to have a career, and I'm going to be able to take care of my family, and I'm going to have this big old house with this big old backyard, and everybody will be able to come over, and we're going to celebrate, and all this stuff like that. And I remember having that dream for many, many years. Many years. And I realized something that I've probably been realizing for the past few years that sometimes dreams are just that right dreams are just that and you gotta live in reality sometimes and the reality is these dreams of this person that I thought I was gonna be this special person is not my reality, right? It's not my reality. So, every time I encounter something, whether it be like first guy pregnant, right? And I'm like, okay, cool. I'm going to go to school. I'm going to still get my degree. I'm going to work my whole pregnancy. I'm going to do X, Y, and Z. Didn't work out that way. Okay. Got pregnant with baby number two. Okay. Oh, yeah. Plus the relationship failed. But anyway. Pregnant with baby number two. That was when it started to be like, oh. Yeah, Kristen. Like, your dream is, <laughs> this wasn't how the dream go. Like. It wasn't how the dream goes. Then it came to be, well, bump that. We changing dreams. All right, we changing dreams because I'm still going to get to that person. I'm going to still get to that person. She might look a little different. She might have a little different. I'm still going to get to that person. Boom. When I finally found out about my depression and I guess I've been new something I knew I was dealing with something I knew that it was something that people really didn't understand because I didn't understand it I knew that and I say you know what I'm gonna take that on too I'm gonna take that on too that's when I changed my channel and I'm like you know what I'm gonna be a voice for people that don't have a voice. I'm going to be a support for people. I'm going to say the things that you can't say. Or the things that is too hard to get out. Right? I'm going to do that. And that's still going to lead me into this person. That didn't happen. That didn't happen. So now. But then I'm like, Okay. I with the man of my dreams, right? Cool. <laughs> then baby number baby number three comes with the man of my dreams. <laughs> and then that don't work. Okay. 
We just go keep dreaming. We go figure out another dream. We go figure out another dream. And what? Two years ago, starting a new career, starting over, starting over from the end of that relationship. Well, longer than that. Well, starting over. We're going to do five years. My baby's five. From the end of that relationship, getting into a bad, stupid situation I should have never got into. Because I didn't know how to, how to be. I didn't know. I'm like, wait a minute. All the things that they say you're supposed to do, these things not working. You know, it's not working. Get a job, go to school. It's not working. I'm not going to sacrifice my kids. I'm not going to sacrifice time with my kids. I'm not going to sacrifice, you know. I'm not going to send my kids by nobody. I'm not going to do that. We're going to do this together because they're a part of my dream still. Then you go from best horrible situation to trying to heal from that situation and rebuild from the bottom. And then you go from the bottom and you rebuild all the way up. And you keep dreaming, you keep dreaming, and you keep trying, and you keep going. Because the dream is just, is different, but it's still possible. <laughs> and now I'm at a place where I have to face the reality that <sighs> that dream was always just, that's what it was. And I was never going to be that person. <laughs> and I'm <laughs> mad at myself for even thinking otherwise. You know what I'm saying? Like, I thought I could save myself. <laughs> a lot of grief. A lot of um, disappointment. <laughs> if I would have just let that dream go a long time ago. <laughs> And been like, you're not going to be her. You're not going to be her. I would have. I would have just, just stopped. I would have just stopped. You know, stop the pursuit. Of something greater. Of something bigger. I would have just stopped that. And I would have just said, you know what? This is what it is. And you stay right there. You stay right there. And you just be that. And even now. <laughs> two years into... What was supposed to be <clears throat> another dream, a different dream, is just another nightmare. It's just another nightmare. <laughs> and I don't, you know, they say like misery loves company, but. I would never want someone to feel the way that I feel, to share in this hurt that I feel, this disappointment that I feel. And I think that people that do that, it comes from a place of, um, of loneliness. 
And sometimes it's malicious and sometimes it's not. But I know for me, I wouldn't want anyone to feel the way that I feel right now. But I, I have to be honest that that dream it didn't do anything for me all the things I wanted to do even people that say oh Kristen you help so many people you do this you do that and that's not to discount anything that they're saying but for me, the way it translates in my life, all the good I've done don't count for nothing. <laughs> it don't count for nothing. And I feel like I was tricked into believing that if you just keep going, if you just change the dream a little bit, then you could still get to that person <laughs> that could be able to take care of her whole family. And it's sad because my main family, my babies, <laughs> I'm struggling to do that. So how dare I think that I could have ever been in a position to take care of my whole family. Buy my mama a house. Buy my sisters and my brother a house. do things for people when they needed it. <laughs> and been a successful person. And I'm like, how you even? Why did you even waste your time? If you made it to the end of the video, and I want to do this for people that struggle with mental health like I do, I hope that the things that you dream for yourself do happen. I hope that they do come true. What I say was about me. Because right now today, I don't care about a degree. I don't care about a big old house. I don't care about a husband. I just want to take care of my three children adequately. That's it. That's the, that's the dream now. That's it. So... I'm not telling people to not dream big and not look for more, not do more. But for me, that constant pursuit of more took away from me living in the now and the reality. And now that I'm putting that to the side and all I want is a peaceful now and a peaceful reality. I'm having the hardest time with that, with that part.
but I hope that that is different for somebody else.